Hey guys, I'm Steve Zergos. I'm here with David Alper, the producer of the movie Air for Skybound. Now, I hear people calling you DA everywhere. Is that something that I have the pleasure of being able to call you as well? Yeah, it's a thing. It's All right. A, it's a thing. We can make it a thing. All right, I'm going to call you DA then. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. All I'm right. not, not going to do SZ. It's you don't like, have to do SZ. Yeah, I'm just going with Steve. Steve's fine. Okay. All right, so let's talk about Air a little bit. Tell mm -hmm. me your involvement in this film and also, like, what is the what is the beginnings of this film? How did it fall into your lap? So uh, Christian Canamesa uh, worked on this. The you know, director of Air had worked on this video game that I'm a huge fan of called Red Dead Redemption. Heard of it? Amazing game. He was the creative lead on that. And um, so I got a call from uh, from his agent saying, Hey, listen, he just directed this short film about zombies that won all these awards, and I really would like you to see it. And I'm like, I, I, like pass. I'm not really interested in seeing zombies. Like, sure. I think we got our zombies down. <laughs> right. I have my zombie world. And he goes, listen, he's a creative leader of Red Dead Redemption. You're going to love it. Watch the short. So watch the short film. I was like, wow, this thing's really great. He made it for, for, for no money, but it got a real emotional hook. It wasn't really going for gore or a, a spectacle. It was really about emotion and this relationship and this family. And um, I said, no, OK, that's great. Like, I'm totally worth it. Let's sit down. Let's talk. He pitched me the idea of air, and again, what I love about it was this epic backdrop, uh, nuclear catastrophes destroyed the world, but it's really the story of these two guys and their battle in, in between us are sort of essentially the janitors of the apocalypse trying to keep the world alive, and every six months they have to get up to change the air filters, but this time something goes wrong. So speaking of the characters, as far as casting goes with mm. these two amazing actors, what, what, what was that process like, like casting these characters? The, the second that we got the, the final script, Robert and I sat down with Christian to have a conversation, and we sat down with our, our producing partner, uh, Brian Cavanaugh Jones and Chris Ferguson, and we said, look, Norman Reedus. And everyone's like, yeah, the, uh, obviously. And yeah, that, was, yeah. that was, it was just sort of an instant thing. And the reason is, you know, uh, one, I think Norman does the apocalypse, like, just yeah. like nobody else, right? right? Let's just let's just it's be honest. It's not his first rodeo. No, it's not his first rodeo. He he knows it. He gets the rules. He understands what the you know how to play. But um, the thing is, it was it was something different than what he does as Daryl Dixon. And then you know for for Jimin, it was really about trying to find somebody, um, just like someone who like because the movie for most of it is just is the two of them, right? So we wanted to find something to sort of highlight the differences, right? As, as stark of a comparison as possible, right? right? right. So looking, looking at Jaiman, you know, who's, uh, you know, who comes in, you know, one, he's tall, he's sort of, he's, you know, he's a much taller specimen than, than Norman. He's black versus, you know, Norman is white. He comes from, you know, he speaks with, a, you know, with an accent, whereas Norman is sort of, you know, very, very American. And sort of that sort of back and forth was really interesting, yeah. you know, contrast between the two. So really quick, though, when does the movie come out? When, what are the release dates for this film? So we're doing, um, you know, uh, we're, we're partner, Sony has partnered with Vertical, and we're going to do a simultaneous uh, theatrical and VOD release. So August 14th, mark it in your calendars, go to the theaters, buy it on VOD. Um, it's going to come out. It's going to be a pretty awesome experience. And I also heard there's a game, a video game coming out about it as well. So so really, this is the little movie that could. So one, we're, we're here at the air premiere. And so for a little, you know, a little $2 million movie to have a premiere is a rare thing. So that's a big thing. We, we are selling a vinyl score from the movie, right? Oh, wow. So that's also again another rare thing, but we're really excited about it. The vinyl's awesome. And then also the other thing is we um, we have an opportunity to do a video game. And you know, because of Christian's background and the great story that him and, and Chris Passetto sort of work together, we're gonna do the same thing that we've done with The Walking Dead, which is we're gonna tell different stories inside the same universe. Right. And it's a really great opportunity to sort of expand out the world. Of air. Well, that's great. And with Skybound behind all of this, I have no doubt in my mind it's going to be a good game, quality stuff, very awesome Absolutely. stuff. So thank you so much. Thank DA. You. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And I can't wait for you guys to see the movie. So check that out. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Thanks for joining me, my man. August 14th. August 14th. Mark that date on your calendar or you're going to regret it.